My name is Frank Frazier. I am a black artist. And I say that very proudly because I'm glad to be who I am. And I don't care if they call me nigger, colored, or what. I fit all of it. I'm all right with it because I know the struggle. And I didn't like Basquiat. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I didn't like it. Now think about it. All his shit was ugly. All, I mean, all of it was ugly. He made black people look ugly, but yet white people said, this is the artist that y'all have to recognize and put up front. Why we got to put up this brother, this real, real, doing this real, real ugly work? He didn't do anything to make us look good or anything that was positive. And I didn't like who he was hanging around with because he was getting screwed by, uh, what's the guy with the weed? Uh, Andy Warhol. So, I mean, that's the way I felt about it. He wasn't my hero. Keep doing what we're doing. I don't understand what you're talking about, great artists. You're a great artist already. Great People artist. know. I know. All these other folks around here know about us. It's about who you want to get to know. See, I'm not concerned about the movie stars and all that. I want the bus driver the school teachers, a couple lawyers and doctors. I don't. I want the real people. And one of the things that I understand, I was looking at um, Facebook the other day. I don't know how, how to do anything on Facebook, but look at it. And every now and then I'll see my artwork, and it makes me feel good. I don't even know the people. And they bought my work someplace. So we, we all bless. My sister, you good. You ain't got nothing to worry about. That's why you're here right now. And the King is good. All of them are good. The Joneses are. We are doing what we do. Just continue your journey. And I don't want to talk about black history because I just got funny feelings about black history because none now. Well, this year is 29 days. We get an extra day. Wow. But we should be celebrating who we are all the time. I'm done. Thank you. That's killing each other. Real, real. Uh, see, I had a grandson that was killed last April 15th. He was in 7-Eleven, supposedly minding his business. You know, we always get the truth later on. He was supposedly minding his business. But his brother went in, shot him nine times. And, and we were killing a lot of each other. And, and we used... But this country is built on that. You go to other countries, they ain't killing everybody like they do over here. We just killing each other off. And, and the bad thing about it, the sisters are getting like that too now. So the only thing we can do is pray to the Creator and try to teach our children better. Thank you. I'm done.